Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can change the image of a retro game from the pixelated look into the CRT look using retro arch shaders. So this is the Legend of Zelda, a link to the past without any video shaders or video filters. And I'm going to show you how you can change the image to look like this. So these are two retro arch shaders. This is an XBR interpolation shader and a CRT scanline shader. Okay, so this is the way that the game looks without any shaders or video filters. It's just a pixelated look. No. And now we're going to apply the shaders. We're going to enter the settings by pressing F1. And then we go to quick menu and we scroll down to shaders. Here we turn on the video shaders. And now we can load a shader. We go to shaders slang. And now we need the XBR shader. So we go to the XBR folder and we're gonna load the XBR level three shader. So back to the game. Now you can see that the image changed. The XBR shader will remove the sharp edges from the pixels. So you will have a smoother image, but this is not the final look that I'm going for. I'm now going to append another shader. So we're going back to the settings and I, I'm still in the shader uh, settings. I go to append yeah. one folder up parent directory and I go into the CRT folder. And here I choose the CRT guest advanced HD shader. So this is going to append the CRT shader to the XBR shader. So now the game looks like this. Now I'm gonna tweak some parameters to make it look prettier. Going back to the settings. Now I go into the shader parameters and here I'm going to change the color saturation. I'm going to change this to 1.1. Then I'm going to change the race black level to minus eight, which will darken the, darken the image a little bit. Next, there's a setting that is called ordinary glow slash magic glow. I'm going to set this to one. And now we go to the CRT mask options. And I'm going to set this one to eight. So this is the C, the mask number eight. Finally, scroll all the way down to deconvergence. And we're going to change this red range to 0.25, green range minus 0.25, red, vertical red range 0.25 and vertical green range minus 0.25. And now I'm going back to the game. And now we have this very nice look, nice colors. The picture is sharp, but not pixelated looks very nice on all the 16-bit and 8-bit systems. This looks just great. See? I'm going back to the look without the shaders. So this is the pixelated look without the shaders. And now I'm turning on the shader again. You get this look. I think this is a very nice way of playing these old games if you don't like the pixelated 
look. Bye.